Brian, you got an update on neighbors? Yeah, sore today, we'll back off them, take it day to day, um, but it's where we're at with them. Did you have MRI, x-ray, any of that kind of stuff just to confirm the worst is not a... Um... Yeah, they're, they're still doing evaluation on him, but he's, you know, he's a little sore today, so we'll back off him, uh, and then we'll just take it from there. What does he still have, have to do in those evaluations? They just, the medical people look at him, so um, I'm not going to get into too much of the details. I think he's okay. He's, he's just a little sore today. I just meant like, did, did, a, did an x-ray already occur ruling out a fracture? There, I, I don't think it's fractured. What happened? There, he just you know, twisted up a little bit. He's on, wasn't on contact or anything like that. But again, he's a little sore today. We'll just take a day to day and, and see where he's at. So uh, he won't practice obviously, right? And so anyone else? Yeah, same as, uh, basically the same as yesterday. Evan and John Michael will continue to do individual. We'll keep wrapping them up. Drew will run off to the side. Cager's back, Stoll will be back. Back off on Malik today. Uh, Mills, Riley, Flott, Gio. All those guys will be down still. Carter, Deontay. I think we'll back off on Drew a little bit. Phillips, but. What's he got going on? Just his, his lower, around his ankle area. Is that something from the game? Yeah, he just, he, he was, he's got a little sore yesterday at practice, so we're just backing off him a little bit to give him a day here. Okay, I'm assuming it changes with, with years and, and circumstances, but what is, do you have a spe specific philosophy on playing your starting quarterback in preseason, whether it's just for, I mean, because now there's some teams that aren't playing anybody, you know, uh, what's your feeling on that? I know DJ, you said he's going to play on Saturday. Yeah, I think I've almost been part of about 100 preseason games, so they've been all a little bit different. I think each season is, is a little bit different. Uh, again, if things go the way they need to go, these next couple practices, plan on playing him. But uh, I think every season, every year is different. Every quarterback's different. It's really all the players, too, uh, what we think we need. So there's been times where starting quarterback hasn't played. Maybe he's played a little bit more. Uh, I think this will be a good game for, for DJ to get in and, and play against these guys. Do you have a general philosophy, not, not regarding Daniel, but about do you, think, do you think there's an importance, regardless of how much a guy is a veteran, that, to get, just to get a little bit of something? Yeah, I think it's individual basis. Um, you know, again, I can't tell you. It's got to be near 100. But uh, every year has been a little bit different. I've worked for a lot of different coaches. Everyone has their own philosophy, but even that from year to year has changed. So we'll just do what we think this year for our team, um, what we need to do. And again, we got two good padded practices here today. We'll see where we're at. We'll discuss it at the end of the week. Um, but, you know, that's pretty much you know, all those years. It's been, a, it's been a little bit different. Well, it was four preseason games a year, 25 years somewhere around there. I mean, now there's three, but somewhere around there. I don't know how many it is, but it's getting there. Right. The neighbors, because he's already shown you so much, mm -hmm. will you be cautious with him just to make sure he's ready for week one as far as whether he plays in preseason games and how much he practices or? Yeah, no, I'd say if, if you know, they deem him ready to go and, and he feels he feels good, we'll continue to work him and, and get work. Again, he's a rookie, so uh, if he's you know, they say give him a few days, we'll give him a few days. But uh, whenever he's ready, um, then we'll just go and, and practice. Would you want to, do you want to see him and Daniel in a game together before week one? Or would the joint practices suffice if, it, if that's all? Yeah, look, if he's ready to play, then, then he'll play. And if they're, they say we need to back off, we need to back off. So you'd, you'd like to see everybody, you know, be able to be out there and play. But you understand this is, this is a contact sport. So uh, I think every team goes through it. If the guys are ready to play, they'll play. If they're not, they won't. You said he got twisted up. Did he step? Did someone step on him? Or no, it was just a, it was just a on air little route. He just buckled a little bit, but um, you know I'm hopeful that that he's okay. What has Elijah Chapman done to open eyes from the point of tryout guy to first team reps? He's done everything we've asked him to do. Again, he's a smaller a smaller guy, but he's got some length in his arms. He's got some explosiveness and, and quick twitch, maybe a little bit different than some other the bigger guys. I think he's developed since he's been here. You know, he had that tryout. It's, you know, I'd, I wouldn't say it's unusual, but you know, it's hard to do. 
So, you know, he's done. He's, he's earned some more playing time. We're going to give it to him and, and try to see him against uh, as good a competition as we can so we can get a, a good evaluation, you know. So give him some reps against uh, first team, you know, whether it's our team or, or Houston, uh, so we can get a, a fair evaluation of him. In your scouting experience, does a guy, obviously I'm talking about him and being a smallish defensive tackle, but a guy who doesn't fit the mold at a position, can he get cast, can he get overlooked because of that? Like, oh, this is a small D tackle or this is a small receiver or whatever. Yeah, I think sometimes. Yeah, certainly. You know, there's, you're always, you always want big, fast, long, you know, strong people. That's what this league is. But, uh, you know, he was a talented player in college too when you went back and watched him. Um, but sometimes that's, that's a tougher, jump to make when you lack a little bit of height or size or length or quickness but you know you can find good football players anywhere and he's he's done a nice job since he's been here drew phillips did that happen in practice yesterday or was that from the game yeah he was he was just tightening up in practice so we pulled him back with uh with jms and evan you say ramp him up so i assume probably wouldn't be ready for saturday We'll see. Uh, I'd say probably a long shot, Dan. Um, we'll do individuals again today with the pads on, and then we'll see how they did, you know, striking and doing things like that. Uh, I'd say probably a long shot. I wouldn't rule them out, but uh, I wouldn't say it's 100 percent either. When Malik's not on the field now, does that present opportunity, more opportunities for other guys? Do guys like Robinson and Hodgins get more first team reps? And what do you look for? Yeah, so those 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 two guys, you know, those they know all the positions. Uh, veteran players. One of has been in the system for a while, and A. Rob's have been a you know number of places, been productive players. So, uh, you know, Slayton and, and Hyde and Wandell will get their their fair share. And then, you know, whether it's Isaiah or A. Rob or you know, little man uh, Isaiah McKenzie, Gunner in the slot with with uh, Wandell. Th those all guys will get you know their opportunities, but. I would say, you know, Slayton and Hyde and, and Wandell, will, they'll be out there as much as they can be. Did we just hear a new nickname out of you there? No, I, I've called him Little Man forever, but um, he is little. <laughs> Does Wandell turn his head when you say that? <laughs> I actually called Wandell Little Man a little bit last year, but then, you know, he's back. So, you yeah. know, we put him back to back, we measure him up. Um, I think those might be the only two I'm taller than. You um, have an open rock spot. You fill that, or what's the plan for that? Yeah, we're going to bring in Lorenzo Lingard. Um, he's a rookie, undrafted free agent. Was with Jacksonville as a running back. Um, so he'll be out there today. Another one or two, or none. Are you still uh, are you still of the opinion you don't need to bring in an, uh, another quarterback for this game? Yeah, we're, we won't we won't do that. Um, I think Drew's getting better, um, so we. We'll see where he is for this game. He's going to do the same thing, run, but he's uh, he's feeling better. Evan said yesterday that part of the reason so, Evan said yesterday Evan said, okay. that like kind of up and down, and lately he's been more consistent. Is that a concern at all for you going forward that it might kind of switch back a little bit? In what regard? How he's feeling, and with the yeah, I mean that's been the that's been the the rehab process. Um, Again, he's a big man, so how he carries it is, is a little bit different. I think he's had he's strung some good days together. Uh, I think that every process is different for these players, so uh, we backed off him when we need to back off him, add more when we can add more. Uh, he's been a pro about all of it. If, he, if we felt like we needed to back off, he backed up. But he was, he was, uh, you know, he's been pretty comfortable the last couple of days of where he's been, how he's feeling, the doctors, the trainers. Uh, so that was the next step. So he's he's been pretty consistent in terms of his mentality and his approach to rehab and doing everything he can do to get back on the field. But there's always you know, little setbacks here and there, you know, when you're, you're a big man and you're a bunch of weight on your, you know, your, your feet. Do you think Drew could play Saturday or would you lock him into long shot? Uh, no, I think he could potentially play. I'd say probably Darrell a little bit more of a long shot, but, but I wouldn't rule it out that, you know, he goes out there, suits up, and if we need him to go in, potentially be able to go in. That was okay. a little bit different. You know, he's gotten a little bit better. So we'll see where he's at here the next couple of days. And if not, Tyree's been taking snaps.